Hello everyone, my name is Sam Schwartz. My friends, the few that I have, my business associates and my family call me Schwartzy and uh, I welcome you to my humble abode. Over the past couple of days I've been toying uh, about the idea of doing another video just in time for uh, the changeover of the year and since I've been in the video industry for most of my life, uh, actually 45 years of my life, uh, I figured, what? why not talk about video? And maybe the what was then and what is now scenario. So where I'm standing next to is my personal Toshiba 57 HX83. Yes, I admit to it. I do own this guy, but I've been the proud owner of this particular large TV since May of 2003, so almost 17 years. And it certainly doesn't owe me anything. It's performed beautifully over all those years. And just lately, as you can see, the overall picture quality um, is starting to show its age. But just like myself, nothing new there. This particular product was a breakthrough in size way back then, um, as companies were jockeying back and forth to see who could come up with the largest uh, screen surface to offer the buying public. And this was one of the first that they introduced, which is a 57 inch uh, diagonal. And it's a completely enclosed projection system. Uh, uses a mirror and three CRT guns. CRTs are cathode ray tubes, like the one that I'm holding right here. Uh, so there are three of these guys inside the uh, cabinet of this beautiful TV. And uh, in, in front of each of these um, CRTs, there would also be a uh, color filter, red, green, blue, which makes up the color spectrum for watching TV. Anyway, uh, this particular set also has a completely um, built-in sound system uh, that offers high power amplifier, I believe it's uh, 20 watts per channel, quite beefy for the time, and speakers in the front, plus all kinds of uh, sound control, uh, bass enhancement, what have you, you name it. This was, as they used to say many, many, many years ago, the cat's pajamas, this was it. Um, the only other solution available for somebody looking to do bigger was two-piece projection. But in those days, you only had one choice of screen materials. Uh, they were basically white and you had a black border or you had a motorized version. Um, so suffice it to say, if you try to use a white screen in an environment like this family room here, you'd be hard pressed to get a pretty decent image. As a matter of fact, you'd fail, uh, unfortunately. Um, plus the fact that your wife uh, or your better half probably wouldn't like the look of a 3.5 inch border on a fixed frame or a big clunky housing on a motorized screen in a family room. So it was relegated to the basement, uh, which became affectionately known as the man cave. Sorry, ladies, I apologize for that terminology, but facts are facts. Oh, by the way, the reason I'm holding this container is it's my lifeblood. I have a bad cold, I think you can detect that and it's filled with uh, hot tea and honey, so hopefully I'll get better soon. Anyway, I digress. So this particular set uh, was really good for its day. Today you can have a multitude of choices uh, in LCD panels, LED panels, uh, OLED panel TVs. That seems to be all the rage. They're very thin, you can mount them on the wall, they look cool, they look sexy. However, they all share the same, um, I don't know if it's an issue, but for me it is. Uh, that this guy has. If you look, you can see reflection because this is an acrylic surface. The panels of today use glass. It's obviously highly reflective, almost like little mirrors. Once you turn them off, they're basically black wall warts um, and they reflect your image. Well, if you're gonna reflect your image, you might as well put a mirror in that same space. Um, so if you're putting a TV um, uh, like that in a family room or a great room or a master bedroom, where you have no uh, uh, light control um, at all, you'll find that it's very highly reflective. So you might have to find a way to maneuver the set uh, away from the uh, light that's shining on it to at least give you a, a decent image. Two-piece projection never has that problem because the surface is 
matte. It's not uh, a gloss finish. Um, and there are many different solutions that are now offered. Um, a company that I have represented for many years, actually, uh, going on to my uh, ninth year with this fine company and uh, headed by a, a good friend of mine. He actually has become a good friend of mine over the years. His name is Ryan Gustafson. And uh, he owns Screen Innovations. And Screen Innovations was uh, created out of his mind, out of Ryan's mind, when he tried to do two-piece projection in a room that wasn't conducive for that application. So he figured there must have been a way to do this, so he tinkered in his garage. And over time, he came up with what we now know as black diamond material. And black diamond material is the Rolls Royce of the screen industry. Every other company that makes screens is trying to copy it. Nobody has been able to at this point. And it looks like it probably never will happen. But not standing on, on that one laurel of having a black diamond solution, which now meant we could take that two-piece projection experience, the big screen experience, and put it in a family room like here, or a master bedroom, or whatever room you wanted to, where you wouldn't do it before, and enjoy a much larger picture than you thought possible, based on what you have to invest in, uh, in the system for your home. But over the years, Ryan and his team of engineers didn't sit back on their laurels. They kept developing and finding new ways to create excitement about what they do and to make, it, make you excited about what you want to bring into your home. So they have all kinds of different materials that they, that they literally um, have available, whether it's a pure white and a pure gray, which is for dedicated spaces, so the man cave, absolutely. Uh, black diamond uh, in both a 1.4 and a 0.8 gain. So they look really, really dark, and the darker the material, obviously, the better contrast you're gonna get, and contrast is so important in a picture, uh, specifically when you do have light-challenged rooms. They have slate 1.2 and 0.8 as well, which again are ambient light rejecting, or some people call it ambient light redirecting. So the light is bounced away from the um, screen surface, and you're now able to enjoy a really, really good quality picture. You can get these materials in a variety of different screens. So if you wanna do a standard fixed frame, 3.5 inch black velvet border, we have that if it's gonna go into a space where that's where you would like to have that type of screen. We also have a product which also was developed by Screen Innovation called Zero Edge and Zero Edge Pro. By that we mean now you can get a fixed frame style screen with a 0.5 inch bezel so very very narrow bezel and you can hang it up on your wall in your family room or any other room where you normally wouldn't and now the wife or the girlfriend or your better half will not complain that it looks ugly honey i don't want that beast on the wall they're they're not going to say wow that is so cool and so many people that i've seen the zero edge product always comment wow that's a big panel tv how big is it well it's 150 inches but it ain't a panel, it's two-piece projection. Get out of here, the picture's too good. And we get those comments day in, day out, I assure you. You can also uh, embellish the Zero Edge Pro by going to a, a, a larger frame border. Uh, uh, Screen Innovations has their own powder coat facilities, so we can also offer you color-coded uh, color frames to match or contrast the wall where it's being uh, mounted on. We also have um, uh, we also have other types of uh, uh, screens available, of course, moving up. We have um, uh, what we call a transformer, which is a fixed frame motorized, believe it or not. It will actually uh, take the aspect ratio that you're sending or that your projector is sending to the screen and will adjust for the aspect ratio. So if you're watching 16 by 9, which is the norm and still the most viewed aspect ratio, uh, in the industry, or if you're going to go 2.35 or 2.40, it will you'll see the screen magically uh, expand and contract to meet that uh, aspect ratio that it's being asked to show. So really, really cool stuff. On the motorized side of uh, of the screen solutions that that SI offers, uh, you've got probably a couple of the coolest screens 
nobody has been able to come up with yet, and we, I doubt that they will be able to. One of, the, one of them is called the zero G, uh, which when enclosed in the ceiling, when it drops down, it hangs by very, very thin um, cable uh, that can be color coded so that it blends into the back wall. So if there's a white wall or a green wall, or whatever, when you drop it in front, that screen in front of uh, that environment, you're going to see that it looks like a floating TV. Other cool solution, another cool solution. And of course, all these screens are available in a multitude of uh, materials. So if you don't want a, uh, an ambient light uh, product, if you want something more standard, we can offer that to you. If you want um, uh, an acoustically transparent product, we offer that type of solution as well. There's no reason for you to have to go elsewhere. You can come to the SI website, and I, I uh, ask that you do that before you make any investment at all, because when you look at this, this is not a small purchase. This is an actual investment. When you're doing a panel TV, it could be 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Take a look at some of the screen innovation solutions with a very good projector, and you might find that it's really affordable. It's not that stupidly priced. And not only that, but the, the, the two-piece projection offers you so much more versatility in that solution and that over time, if you're going to want to do a higher resolution uh, panel TV, if you're currently doing 1080p, most people are buying 4K, but now there's a buzz about 8K. So if you want to replace that 4K panel with an 8K panel, guess what? You have to replace the panel. When it comes to two-piece projection, you can start with 1080p projection because 1080p looks fabulous because you're projecting probably from anywhere from 12 feet and beyond. So, and your, 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 your seating is about that distance, give or take. You won't even notice. You look at a picture and you're going to say, wow, this is absolutely delightful. Um, and then, of course, the screen... The screens that we sell today uh, through Screen Innovations are rated to 8K on most of the materials. So, you know, you can go 1080p, go to 4K when the price becomes more uh, attractive to you, and then eventually if, when the time arises and you can want to do it, you can go to 8K. So there's future proofing in every SI screen. You're not going to have to replace the screen. It's going to stay with you for as long as, as you have um, two-piece projection in your home. So getting back to this TV, this is, a, <coughs> like I said, this was a solution for way back when. It's something that's gone. Uh, unfortunately, it had a long history. CRT technology was, believe it or not, available for over 50 years before flat panel technology started to creep in. And, and you had LCD panels and plasma panels from you know companies like Pioneer uh, that were making inroads, and uh, people were saying, you know what, I don't want that big clunky CRT TV anymore. I want something that's cool and sexy. And eventually, we are have arrived to where we are today, where everybody wants it on the wall. Why not? It's cool. You know, just bear with me one second because I got to put on a very special jacket that allows me uh, some superpowers because I got to move this beast. Video is fun, and you can make it even more fun by getting the right product for you. And if you ever need assistance, I can be easily reached at ebonytristaragency at gmail.com. That's E B O N Y T R I S T A R A G E N C Y at gmail.com. Or you could call me or text message me at 416 527. 0307. If you do take that option, please leave me a message. Even if it's, um, you know, give me a call or if you send me a text message, leave me a message. Let me know how I can help you. And before I get back to you, I will hopefully have the solution you're looking for. But that's what I do. And that's what we do at Screen Innovations. Anyways, without, um, without further ado, I'm going to now move this guy out of the way. Beast. And as you're going to see, as I turn this guy around, you'll notice that, yeah, this is a deep son of a gun. Not meant to be mounted on a wall, for sure. And weighs in at about 350 pounds. Thank God Toshiba decided to put heavy-duty casters on this thing. 
because I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to move it without it, and I would, wouldn't be able to either. But now what you're going to be seeing is the same image that we were watching a moment ago on this Toshiba TV, but now it's going to be um, used use on a Spain Innovations, and this is a, a unique solution in the screen industry. It's called a Solo Pro. The Solo Pro is available in three different power, power configurations, one of which is the one I have here, which allows you to uh, recharge an internal lithium-ion battery pack, and that charge will take about six hours to full, and it will provide you with a full charge for about two years, give or take, and you can recharge it up to 500 times. Now, being a wireless motorized half-tension screen, it doesn't have an umbilical cord for you to worry about. So if you want to take it out to the backyard or, you know, roll it up and bring it up to the uh, cottage, if you have a cottage, uh, so that you can watch your videos in that environment as well. That's what SI is all about. It's not about uh, one solution. Uh, they are not a one-trick pony. They have so many different solutions. I Honestly, you have to visit www.screeninnovations.com to see the full benefit of what they, they have. Plus now, we're doing motorized and manual shades in Canada. Yahoo! Take a look at what we have to offer you there as well. So this particular screen is a 106-inch uh, tab tension. So it's got very thin tabs. The material that's, that I ordered for this particular screen is 1.2 gain slate ALR. So again, ambient light rejecting or ambient light redirecting material. So you can literally put this guy up and uh, take it outside to the backyard and use it with a Pico projector. Um, or if, if you're, the projector you're currently using in your home, uh, you have access to it to take it into the backyard as well. And then there's also wireless audio. You can get uh, Bluetooth audio as well. You can get a complete outdoor experience with one screen. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's really, really cool. I mentioned uh, earlier that Screen Innovations has their own powder coat ovens. Well, you can order this particular um, cassette in a variety of different colors to match or contrast your environment. I decided to go with taupe because my wall is beige. So that was the closest that I could get to, uh, to the beige. And personally, I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, again, I want to reiterate that when you're buying, whether it's a panel TV or a two-piece projection, do your homework. Don't rely on the internet. The internet is good for basic information. I definitely recommend you visit a local dealer near you that carries uh, a variety of different products, brands of projectors, and screen innovations. I love the JPC projectors, and I wanted to do a quick shout out to my buddy Francisco and Ian at JPC Kenwood Canada, who were kind enough to meet with me last week, just before Christmas holidays, to lend me the projector that I'm currently using, which is a beast. I'll be honest with you, it is a beast. But take a look at the image quality. I mean, this thing is absolutely stunning. You can call me, you can text me, you can email me for information where you can find these products. You can reach out to Screen Innovations. Uh, you can talk to virtually anybody there if, if that is what you would love to do. We invite you to do that as well. I would love to be able to provide you with the name of an authorized dealer so that you can pop by and discuss in greater length what SI can offer you in terms of the solutions that they have. And um, I thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me talk. And I hope that you enjoyed the presentation. Sorry about that slight detour. Um, I just wanted to um, close off this video by extending my um, best wishes to you and yours for a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. 
may be the best year ever. And if you're ever in the market for some really great audio, we also do earthquake sound. We also do Galo Acoustics, really cool uh, solution speakers. Uh, we also do uh, star ceiling panels. So if you want to really decorate your, you know, your man cave, if you're going to be creating a man cave. Um, we also do some great uh, uh, products from Everick and um, Lumi Design Prime mounts if you're looking for uh, some excellent value uh, uh, chairs, home theater chairs and motorized lift chairs and of course Green Innovations and um, yeah I guess that pretty much sums it up from my side the last thing I'm going to do is close off this video by showing you another benefit of using this particular screen. It's what we call rollable TV. So you can get this guy up to 110 inches using a lithium ion rechargeable battery system. Or you can go larger, you can go up to 160 with the other power options, not, not the lithium rechargeable option, unfortunately, at this time. But once it's up there, and if it was mounted higher to the ceiling, you wouldn't even see it. Thank you again for your time, and I hope you have a wonderful new year with your family.